my god. It does feel kind of nice to be back in a fixed house. house. Yeah. 12 months ago, I didn't think I'd be feeling like this. When we hit the road with our humble pop-top caravan, we were so excited to explore Australia. And damn did we experience it. The east of Australia was getting punished with some pretty crazy weather back then. So we headed to South Australia and then to Western Australia. We were so stoked to meet like-minded people, the amazing coastlines, and of course, the insane mountain bike trails. It really has been the adventure of a lifetime, but life is not all sunshine and rainbows. It's actually had its fair share of challenges, a crazy storm that almost ended our adventure. Crazy diner. I don't know how that didn't squash us. A breakdown just outside of Perth city, Mice invasions. We've just set up our caravan and there is a fucking mouse. And we're both terrified. Oh, fuck. Very cute. This could just be a relaxing time, couldn't it? Sick of these. Yeah. And our kid was one when we started this trip and now she's a toddler. Travelling with her over long distances and living in a small caravan can be pretty overwhelming. Oh, and there's the limited resources. Oh my god, this is nice. <laughs> The memories we've made along the way, the nights spent watching the stars around the fire and the amazing bond that we have formed with our daughter have made it all worth it and I do want to promote the positives of the van life life. But there's always a but. Now, all the way in my home state of Victoria, as we sit here in my parents' comfortable house, doing common comfortable people things, we can't help but wonder, is the van life life really for us? And while tossing my brain over a cliff's edge didn't really help with our decision to continue the van life, there is another way to unclog the confused mind. And this is the best way I know how. Yeah, definitely. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> you. After a well overdue ride with some good mates, now the head's clear. We have decided that we're really starting to feel the limitations of our living space in a pop top. Cop that. Crazy because we started in a swag, then a turn, then a high, then a beat up caddy. But that is the reason we decided to buy a new second hand caravan. Introducing Goldie! Introducing Goldie. A 20 foot gold star caravan that sort of resembles a toaster. Goldie is fully set up for off-grid camping, which means we can take it to more remote areas of Australia and enjoy the outdoors. The Goldie also has a bathroom, and this should make it way easier to toilet train our daughter. While we know money doesn't buy happiness. Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. We do believe that investing in this new caravan was the right move for us, and we're so excited to hit the highway in Goldie.